Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you the difference between the XLOOKUP function and the filter function, and also how to use the unique function to create a validation list. So on the screen, I've got the finished article, where at the top there, I've got XLOOKUP, and at the bottom, I've got a filter. If I select a person from this data validation list, so I'll select myself, that fills that information in by row. The filter function is bringing in all the records for me. I've got conditional formatting set up in this table to show you that there are multiple records there. So if I pick somebody else, for example, if I pick Jones, Jones, there are three records for Jones, but the X lookup is only showing the first one it comes to. Now there are ways of getting the X lookup to show the three rows that is displayed there, but you'd need to use index and rows or you put a helper column in. The filter function is obviously a lot better and quicker if that's what you're after. Now on, on this column here, I've got the unique function. So it's just looking down at this list and telling me what these names are. And if I add somebody at the end there, um, that should pick that up. And it's picked that up because that is unique. This is formatted as a table. This unique function is called items. I've named the whole column items. So the unique function is picking that up, which is what I want to go through. So on a new sheet, let's have a look at this. So first of all, I've just got my name typed in there. There's no lookup. I'll use a unique function. So over here equals unique. Press your tab key to get that. And select the column. Close the bracket on that. Click the tick. So that gives you the unique function. That gives you a list. Now, if I add somebody at the bottom on this table as it is at the minute, so I'll just do clock again. See, that's not picked that up. So if I delete that off, and then format this as a table. Let's do that. Format this as a table. Just pick any color scheme. OK. That's now formatted as a table. If I try typing that at the bottom again. Now it is picking that up. The unique function is picking that up as it gets um, added on at the bottom there. So that's great. So now what I want to do is I want to name this. I'm going to name this column. I'll call it my list. Just press enter on that when you name it. And then if I go to data validation for this cell, if I go up to the data tab, data validation, you just select list as an option. And then you type in there equals my list. And then that will pick that list up from here. Like so, crop being the bottom one. Now if I click on my name, the XLOOKUP function that I want to look at is basically going to look at my name from this table and bring me this example. It will bring me this example. So it does bring back multiple columns, which is great, but not default multiple rows. So if I type Excel and then press tab, it puts the function for you. So lookup value is my name, comma, lookup array is a list of names, comma, return array in this case is just going to be this area like that. Now I'm not going to follow that on. I don't need to for this example, but you've got other options in there like not found, match, search mode, etc. I'm just going to tick that. And it populates in there. Let's go back to home to put that into pounds. So it's formatted to pounds. So that's great. Now in this one, I want this cell to equal that. I could do a another VLOOKUP or I could do a data validation list, should I say, but there you go. Now I want these headings copied down. So you can move things like that and then just hold your control key and that will do a copy for you. And then underneath this is that I want to use the filter function. So obviously there's multiple rows for my name. So equals filter, pressing the tab key to get the bracket there. So I need to select the whole table. So the whole table, comma, if the name column, so I'll highlight the name column is equal to 
with that cell there. And I'll just tick that and then it drops that information in for me. Now, what I've done there slightly wrong is I've grabbed my name as well. So I'll just do that again. Delete that off. I don't want to grab my name. That's why it's shot over there a bit. So it's equals filter. Press tab. So the array, not my name. I don't want that. Highlight that area. Comma where the name. Just make it tidier. Equals whatever's in this cell. This orange cell, which is my name. Click and tick on that. And it brings the multiple items in. Now, in the other example on the other sheet, I had this colouring up. So let's do that one, the last thing. So if I highlight this, go to conditional formatting, manage rules. There's a rule that's there at the moment. I'll just delete that. If I go new rule, formula option. So I'm clicking on that cell. And then basically I'm clicking on the top left hand cell here and then I'm taking the dollar sign off there. So there's only one dollar sign on the letter A and then I'm going equals. I'll pick that cell because that's the one that's going to change. And then format amber. So I want these to color up amber. Okay to that. So they're now coloring amber. So if I select that different person, I'll go for Jones. Jones, and if I have more than one Jones, pull them down, they'll all go green. And this is reacting, and you can see how that works. If I pick somebody else, Cooper, and then just select Cooper from this list. I'll just type it actually. Cooper, and then you can see how that came in there. So if I type Sax, Saxton, press tab, it does that. If I type Jones, G O, Press tab, that comes in as well. So that's just a quick video of how you can use or how you can see the difference between XLOOKUP, what it does in its basic form, and how, how much better I think for bringing multiple roles back the filter function is. And I've also used the unique function to grab a validation list from my main table where I've got duplicate information. So hopefully this video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.